Hello YouTube, welcome back today. <clears throat> today we are going to talk about Holtaforma Farmertech 395XP. Okay, all these ones here are uh, clone saws or copy saws, whatever whatever you want to call it. 395, we're just kind of excited. We just got a big shipment into these. So first off, inside the box, so they have blue ones and orange one. This one is an orange. 390G, 395XP, full orange. And in the box, you get, of course, you'll get the power head, just like this. You'll get a tool kit. You will get a manual. And it kind of gives you a little outline of technical specs and stuff. This manual is actually not too bad to, to go through. It's got a total of... 40 pages, you know, technical information, all sorts of cool stuff comes with, now these dogs aren't, I mean, they're good for stock. They're not like most people get aftermarket dogs anyway, but these are pretty good for, for original. Now down here on the very end, I have an OEM 395 XP. I bought this new a couple months ago. Um, we've been building pipes and stuff with it. That's why there's no exhaust on it. And I've cut off the, the full wrap handle that it had. So, if you just want to compare, I don't know if you can kind of see that. So, the OEM one was definitely bigger than, than this aftermarket one, okay? And most people get aftermarket ones anyway. I don't know if you can kind of zoom in on that and see, but... So, one difference right there, the size of the dog. What we're seeing, let me put these back in the box. What we're seeing so far is these are actually proven to be pretty sweet. Let's get one of these out and look at it. So if you're not familiar with the 395, it's been around for quite a while. This is an amazing chainsaw. That's a 395. This one here is a 288. So if you're familiar at all with the 288, 395, there they are in side-by-side -side comparison. You know, they're both aftermarket farmer tech. Um, just one's 288, one's 395. We will talk about the 288 on another day. Um, second thing is, okay, if you're familiar with the 372, there's the difference right there between 372, aftermarket, of course, Farmer Tech, and there's the 395. So, just so you can see, <clears throat> for those who aren't aware of the size difference, the CC difference, so the 395, they're claiming it to have 7.1 horsepower, okay? So 7.1 now, I, we haven't put it on the dyno. We're hoping to put it on the dyno next week. So we can confirm that next week. Um, we got a scale over here. Let's do a weight. Now, some of the things that we, we tried when I was speaking to FarmerTech about this particular saw, I tried to get them to make it, let's say, better. They don't. I don't think they understand or don't like to make things better. They just like to <clears throat> copy existing. So it is a direct copy. I mean, they we even have, they even put metal right here on these tabs, which is nice. Those plastic ones kind of stretch and wear out and break. But it is to the T, you know. Choke, on off, decompression. Uh, OEM, these are black, but right here, these are orange, so the lines. Other than that, let's uh, show you one of these over here on the scale. We'll pop the top off. Actually, let's just pop the top off right now so you can kind of look and see what she looks like. We're just excited to get these in. If anybody is uh, interested or wants one, let us know. We've got a whole bunch of them. And this is, we're used to this air filter style now. The older ones were didn't have this kind of a high top air filter, it's called. Uh, yeah, it is 100% uh, clone, clone copy. Now this one does not have the full wrap bar. I'm told that they will have full wrap available. Um, one thing I noticed here with this exhaust, let's see if we can kind of, we can kind of see this exhaust. So there's no, there's no screen here, okay? And it's been gutted. Like I mean, it goes in that far. So she's been gutted, she's gonna be a little on the noisy side. 
And depending on where you live, that can be legal or not legal. You know, if you're cutting on Forest Service ground, um, you need to have a spark arrestor. And this one does not have a spark arrestor. That's just a gutted, open muffler. Um, just FYI, just so you're aware about it. Oh, you also get one of these little... I never use these, but they come in the box. Let me know what you guys do with these. <laughs> these we use them for everything but what they... Uh, want us to use them for um okay side by side here we go it's kind of what you're looking at so you have Holtzforma here you have OEM Husqvarna so I mean color differences that's about it decompression valve is blue decompression valve is black but for all intensive purposes they even have they are starting to Put their own number, VIN number, I guess you'd call it, serial number. Whereas the, see, whereas the steel one. Um, yeah, this was made in Brazil, that Husqvarna. So, yeah, a lot of people get upset at me and say, why don't you show an American saw? Well, I don't know. If you know of a chainsaw made in America, let me know because this is made in China. These were originally made in Sweden. Now it looks like they're made in, you know, I'm sure they have plants all over the world, but so we're not even comparing US products here. This is Swedish originally, and then Chinese clone. Anyway, let's move on here to the scale, okay? This is what we've got. Let's do, so this particular one, I've been using it, I've ran it a little bit. It does have a little bit of bar oil in it. It has no fuel in it, okay? And it's a little, it doesn't have a muffler, so I have a muffler right here we'll throw on the scale with it to try to get this to be somewhat close. So I would say half a tank of oil, however much you want to say that weighs. 19.28 ounces is OEM. And now I don't know in this case if we want heavier to be better or not. Uh, I would probably say so. I want the parts to be more of a quality part than just a lightweight part. And so we got a... Do we have the other dog? Let's grab the other dog for this. I think I'll put it back in the box. Let me grab this dog. There we go. Make it somewhat... So there's... So a little bit lighter. I mean, granted, whatever the oil weighs that's in the other one. This one's almost 18 ounces. I mean, 18 pounds. 17.13 ounces with no fluids at all inside of it. Um, anyway, there you guys have it. Pretty sweet. We're excited to... We're excited to offer these. We like these saws so much that this one over here, our 394, this was the older style. This was not a high top is one that we have modified a little bit. I wonder if you can even see that. No, can't quite see turbo veins. But anyway, so this is the one that has our turbo on it. It's a 394, but pretty sweet. Any questions, guys, let us know. We uh, have quite a few of these to sell. Um, cost right now, as of today, Depending on if you get bar and chain, we're talking between, let's say between four and 500 bucks. So one of the questions that always arises is the cost. So between, this is going to be between, depending on the dealer you're buying it from, is going to be anywhere between, let's just say 350 to 500 bucks. Okay. Depending on, you know, the dogs, the setup, the shipping, if it's coming from China, if it's coming from a U.S. dealer, somebody reputable that's actually going to take care of you. I would recommend buying from a farmer tech dealer because they can deal, they can help you with a lot of, if there is a warranty problem, we don't know. These are brand new, so I, I can't tell you yet what might we might, we might foresee. Something with the oiler, something, you know, I, I don't know, the 288s had oiling problems, so we had to fix quite a few of those. This particular part, the, the chain brake feels a little bit chintzy to me now i don't like this design anyway um and so we will see how long these last you know if this is even a hardened you know how hardened that plastic is because those break inside here where the where the band is sometimes we see issues with those 
But so time will tell. We're gonna, you know, get this thing out and get it cutting. Okay, back to the cost. So let's just say this is four hundred and fifty bucks from your deal from your hold form a dealer. The the OEM three ninety five from the dealer. I, I really don't know. I think they're around twelve hundred, maybe a little more, thirteen, four I so this is gonna be less than half, let's say. No matter what, this is gonna be less than half the cost of one of those. So is this worth half the cost? Um, and I'm saying totally, I'm saying all day long. Depending on what you do, do you, if you harvest firewood, if you, you know, cut logs, if you trim trees for a living, depending on what you do, this might or might not work for you. But for me and for what I do, we sell firewood for $200 a cord. This will pay for itself in no time at all. Granted, it's big, it's heavy. We just put it on the scale so we know how much it weighs, but it can handle a big bar all day long. And when it comes to milling, that's a great chainsaw for, for milling if you don't have you know a 3120 or an 880. So that's here from an American dealer. Um, I personally, I like the Husqvarna bars. I like this lightweight bar. These bars are sweet. I like the Husky bar, the Husky chain. Um, I just, I think they stay sharper longer. They're better for me. I, I, anyway, yeah, we could go on and on about chain. So I'm not going to talk about that much, but I like OEM bar, OEM chain. And, uh, these are sweet though. I'm excited. We're going to, we're going to fuel one up and get it outside in the wood. So this will be kind of part one to our 395 unboxing let's say anyway guys uh any questions feel free to ask thanks for watching see ya